Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio Uncut. We are in the mall, and uh, can we make wire? We can. I'm going to go ahead and make some wire. And uh, while we're making some things, we're going to need some more things here. Um, I want another fluid wagon. I would like a couple more tanks. Um, we need some uh, pumps. And probably an additional locomotive. Because um, we need to set up our, our other... We, we've got kind of a, a, a station set up for oil coming in. We need to set one for the outbound one. We'll need two tanks for that and some pumps to load those into the uh, locomotives. We'll need an additional fluid car uh, as well as another locomotive. Because I'm not going to set up the full train network. I just want to get one going back and forth. I think I said I probably wasn't going to do that, but I, I think I'm, I'm going to end up doing it because this is just taking too long. Um, we do have a place making uh, chemical plants down here, but we don't have it fully hooked up, and I haven't really committed to that location yet. Um, so let's just throw some chips in there, and uh, that'll automate some of that. We do need some pump jacks. Um, I have not set up automation on that. Um, we can make four of those. And if we had a little bit of iron, we could make some more. Uh, that's four. Let's do let's do six starting out. I think that'll be good. And um, refineries. Let's see. We have a stone brick supply right here. Um, that will make two of them. Uh, chips and pipe. A pipe will be right here. Chips will be up here. And uh, let's see, we did two. Uh, that's three. Now we need gears. <laughs> Never ends. Um, what is that? Was that three? One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be okay starting out. Uh, we don't need nearly that much. And uh, I'm starting to accumulate a lot of garbage in my inventory. Let's go ahead and we'll set down just a wood chest for now. Throw the stone furnaces in there. Uh, throw the burner mining drills in there. Uh, light armor can go in there. And, uh, boy, I'd like to get rid of some of... Uh, we'll throw the wooden chests in there. Um, boy, I'd like to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, let's throw the regular power poles in there. Uh, we've got a lot of belt... And uh, a number of yellow splitters. Um, we've got the wire now. Let's go ahead and set these up to be controlled uh, via circuit conditions uh, rather than by chest limiting. Um, the advantage that is, to that is, okay, so I've got some extra splitters here. Let's say I wanted to drop them off here. I can't because that is limiting it. Uh, we have to go and unset the filter, put it in, and then put the, the blockers back in place. But if we limit this by a circuit condition and enable this only when um, that count is less than 50, uh, 59, uh, let's, say, let's say just a, a stack, 50, um, then we don't need this on here anymore. And then we could dump this stuff in here just freely, just by going and, and clicking on it and... Uh, it, it, it's much more convenient. Uh, let's see. This chest is currently full. Let's limit that to... Um, and we can make this more generic, I think, by setting everything uh, less than... Let's just uh, stockpile like 300 belt. Uh, we will have to upgrade that to a steel chest. Uh, but now that can be wide open, and we can just dump off some belt in there. We'll just hold on to it a little bit in case we need it um, in an emergency. Um, and that will be good. Um, we're still working on some stuff here. Let's go ahead and set these. Um, everything less than 50 there, I think, will be fine. Got a little, got a little surplus of those uh, yellow belts. And um, let's see, do we want to go ahead and do these? Um, eventually, I would like to do them all. Uh, let's see. Let's do that, that, and that. And not 300, but let's do 100 of those. Uh, let's do 100 of those. 
And for these, we'll do... Um, and that is a thousand. Is a thousand a full row there? That that seems reasonable. Uh, let's do fifteen hundred, and uh, we'll upgrade that to a steel chest as well. All right. So um, let's see. We've got some refineries. Uh, let's drop these off over here. Get rid of them. Uh, we've got refineries, uh, we've got underground pipe, we've got regular pipe, we've got tanks, we've got pumps, we've got trains, uh, we've got pump jacks. I, I think we're, I think we're good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll roll the intro, and I will meet you up north. We'll we'll start working on a train. Get that stuff moving, uh, so we can actually start getting some blue science before we run out of stuff to research. Um, which is a race that I don't think we'll win, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll try. Now, I'm a big, huge fan of spicy food, but I swear that was the most spicy thing I have ever had in my entire life. Oh, man, it was it was so, so bad. So bad. And uh, to tell you the honest truth... I really, really would like to try it again, <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, I'm up here at our station. I'm, I'm running these guys underground here, uh, so we can go ahead and just continue on this rail. I want to go ahead and get a continuous rail going out, um, basically from this station right here. Let's go ahead and set it up, uh, since we're over here. Now, um, as the crow flies, um, of course, it's going to be a lot easier to hook it up from there to there, uh, since that's where it is. Uh, but I want to kind of try to keep the future in mind and uh, and build the rail network that we need, uh, not necessarily the one that we want right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put that there. Uh, we'll go ahead and set that there. Um, that doesn't need to be there anymore. Uh, we need a pump. Uh, for the fluid stations, uh, for these stations, the ones that are grabbing uh, things like ore, uh, actual materials that can be belted, uh, we unload those with inserters. Uh, with fluids, uh, like crude oil, like we're going to be unloading here, we're going to unload those with pumps. And you can kind of see the pumps. Um, if I set a pump like over here, it looks like this, but it looks a little bit different when you place it next to a track. Because um, that is going to go over the car whenever it gets here and uh, basically suck it up and put it into um, this tank. Um, a fluid car can hold um, exactly the same amount as a storage tank. So for the number of fluid cars, uh, you want to at least have uh, the number, uh, number of tanks equal the number of fluid cars that you have. And let's see, you don't have power. Um, I think just for now, I'm going to run that from over there, uh, just so when we get everything set up, um, this this can actually function. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and name my stations here. Um, I think I'm going to call this main. Um, I, I like to do it where I'm referring to what the station is, and we'll just call this main. This will be our main train station. And uh, in the last series, I figured out we could do item equals... Uh, to actually get images, but this isn't going to be item. I think it's going to be fluid equals crude oil. Yeah, there we go. Uh, with that little tag right there, it'll actually put the icon. And uh, I think that's neat. Uh, so we'll call this main oil, and uh, that's how we'll know uh, where to send that. All right, that looks good. Um, I made a car, didn't I? I certainly did. Uh, let's go ahead and get that set up. Uh, do we have a little bit of coal? We have a little bit of coal. Let's get a little bit more. Uh, to go ahead and fuel you up. And I've got a lot of ore and stuff in my inventory. Are we in a place? Uh, not conveniently. Uh, we'll just hold on to it for now. And if it gets in the way, we'll just throw it in the trunk of our car. All right, so we tentatively had this going out over here in this direction. Uh, car's not going to be optimal. <laughs> um, Boy, trees. Trees, trees, trees. 
Um... I'm going to go get some grenades. I'm going to go get some grenades, and on our way down there, I'm going to drop some of these guys off. I, I was hoping to have everything that we needed. Boy, I tried so hard. Um, I, I got really close, but uh, yeah, I just I don't think we're going to do it. Um, I could sit there and chop, but that would just do nothing but give us a lot of wood in our inventory. And uh, we probably got a nice, good surplus of uh, trees down, or of grenades down here. Tree killers! Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, pick some of these up. How many is that? 76. That should be good. And uh, science is blinking, but I don't think there's anything we are capable of researching right now. Nope. Uh, so it'll just have to blink for a little while. Yes, grenades make a uh, very, very effective tree clearing weapon. Um, early on, uh, they're one of the best until you get bots. All right. And uh, we just throw it in the circle there and uh, instant tree be gone. All right. We'll just clear all this stuff out of the way here. Now, it will damage your things. Uh, it will damage your structures as well as yourself, uh, like I just demonstrated there. But uh, it is it is it is wonderfully effective. Um, okay, I was wanting to do that because um, I, I want to kind of space this out and so that it lines up with where I want our rail network to be. And uh, I don't use blueprints for everything. However, one of the things that I do have a blueprint for is the basic uh, layout of our rail lines. Again, there will be links in the descriptions as well as the series where I basically set up these blueprints and designed if you want to know where I'm coming from. But um, that is going to be my two-lane rail book uh, wherever it has gone. Uh, two-lane 2.5. I believe that is it right there. All right, so we'll have our stackers there, and then I want to feed that into a junction like so. Okay, and that will allow us to have a rail line going up and down right there. And uh, that, I believe, will work. And uh, it's on this line right here that we want to base the rest of our rail network on. Okay, and here I am chopping trees um, after I was talking about how great grenades were, and we went and got a lot of them. All right, so we're going to hit water about right here. Let's just see. Uh, that's not going to be optimal, is it? Um, this would actually be the preferable line. So right there where that kind of, that lagoon starts. Uh, so probably up in this area is where we want to start going over. Uh, do we have anything over here interesting? Uh, we do have a coal patch over here, but we may be able to go catch that on the down line. Um, there is definitely a reason to go up here. And that's going to be basically on that line right Uh, here. Okay. Just make a little hole here. Uh, when you first get grenades, uh, you don't have the explosive damage upgrades, and uh, sometimes it'll take one, two, three grenades in order to actually clear out a clear pa uh, patch. Uh, but once you get to this point, and uh, you do have some of the early explosion, explosive damage upgrades, as you can see, it becomes uh, quite trivial. All right, I think that'll get us started. Uh, let's pull out... Oh, I dropped the blueprint book. 
Uh, let's put that on the bottom here so that stays with us. Um, so this is going to come up. And uh, the way I have this set up is if we line up these power poles, it should work out fine. Um, except it's not going to. Uh, we need to do a bit of a turn here. Is that going to work? I think so. Uh, so that'll come up like this. Uh, that'll continue up like that. And then you will curve. That one right there will be right there. And uh, then we were saying this needed to go up about right there. Well, so so we'll have we'll have a, a a thing going up there. We don't need to we don't need to plan that right now though. All right, so I have this piece, which is basically a a longer straight segment of uh, of three. So that's going to go out that way, and that's going to clear our ore patches, and I believe that is going to work. Uh, boy, you know how I said I didn't need that many grenades. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that back. Are we gonna have enough? I think we're gonna have enough to get through this patch. Uh, but boy, hopefully I don't know that. Are we gonna run into any others? Ah, uh, there may be some over there. But uh, eh, I think we'll be fine. All right, uh, let's go ahead and place this out. Uh, do we have a car? Uh, throw that down, put some gas in it. Uh, that'll continue on this way. And uh, where do we want to start heading down to the oil? I mean, we might as well take it, take it all the way. Or at least as long as we can. Use our uh, car as a anti-tree device. Um, how's this? Um, this actually this actually looks pretty good to me. Um, so yeah, this this looks good right here. Now, is there any reason for us to go this way? I'm not sure, but it looks like we're definitely going to want to go up because that's where copper is. Um, let's take this out right here. And then get another T-junction. That's going up and down right here. And then that can go up to the copper. And this will continue on down. That one right there. Ah, okay, here's our oil right here. Um, and uh, this this may continue on down uh, to go and hit that copper patch as well. Um, if not today, then someday. So I do think we actually want to branch this out. And we can take this piece right here. And just by taking those two signals out, we should be able to turn that into a T-junction. Um, that, that's going to be our exit for doing our oil stuff. And uh, I'm not sure that we're going to really be doing uh, that many oil trains. So I don't know that we need like a really big station here with a lot of uh, parking or anything like that. Uh, so let's just kind of kind of think about this here. Uh, what if we took you as our main train loading station here? 
Okay, that seems to fit. And uh, we'll continue this on straight, maybe. And uh, oh, that's not going to work because uh, we need we need this one right here too. Uh, so we need to base this curve off of this curve. Hold on, uh, what 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 are we what are we doing here, Kitch? What are we doing? Um, sorry, I, I'm rethinking this. I know whenever, whenever these things start to get a little asymmetrical and start, start looking funny, that's my cue to, uh, to do something different. Um, okay, so the train's coming in this way, right? Um, no, the train's coming in up top. And it's going out here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make that work. But if we put that there, and this came up, uh, train here, train up here, And this would be the input line. Uh, we would have to make that turn, that turn. That could come in like that. And it would be a little bit wavy and a little goofy looking. But I think it'll work for now. All right, so um, train stop, uh, train stop. Uh, we want a signal on the way in, signal on the way in, signal on the way out, uh, signal on the way out. And maybe just break that block up a little bit. Okay, and that'll be normal everyday train operation, but we're not going to start out with normal everyday train operation. Uh, we're actually going to start out uh, with this being a, a double-headed train uh, that is going both directions at the same time. So we're going to want to flip this station. Uh, but I also want to set... Um, right there, and I think okay, if we set this up on these lines, we can set that as an output and that as an output, um, except they, they're going to be inputs. Uh, flip you guys. There we go. That'll work, and then I want this station 
Oh, it's going to have to be flat, isn't it? Well, for now, it'll be over here. And uh, this will be easy to reconfigure whenever we want to flip that across. Is that correct? Yeah, that'll hit both of those. And um, this will be... Um, fluid equals crude oil. Uh, let's, let's reverse that. So all our pickup stations will end up being together. All right, that'll be right there. Okay, let's go ahead and get some of these set up. Uh, that's going to be one of you, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. Uh, take you on down. That will be the main line coming up, and we'll get as many of these hooked up into this area as we can. Uh, using undergrounds where we can, because uh, it just moves a little bit better through them. Uh, there, there, there. Um, those two connect. Yes, they do. That will be good. Uh, we'll take those there and that right there. Uh, power, power, power. There's no good way to do that. Um, this will come up and power that, and then we'll just need to connect that with our outside line, which will be something like that. All right, that'll be a big mess, but once we get power down here, that should start that moving. Um, okay, do I still have my car, or did I put it somewhere where I don't know where it's at? Um, it's way over there. Okay. I have a tendency to lose my car. Um, it's a thing that I enjoy doing. All right, we need to get the track ran back as well as power. How I'm going to manage to do both of those at the same time um, effectively, that's going to be, that's going to be an interesting one. And especially while driving a car. I'm, I'm not optimistic in my abilities to do these things. Oh, that's, that stinks. Um, I do need to replace that because... Uh, uh, the circuit wires are part of the blueprint, and if I place the pull where it goes, we get the circuit wires for free. Um, if I mess that up, uh, we, we don't get the benefit of having the circuit wires. Uh, like right here. There we go. Let's see. I'm, I'm, like, paranoid about driving on the tracks. Um, I don't need to worry about driving on the tracks. We actually don't have any trains. And, uh, boy, I'm wanting to get a, a modded series going going soon because uh, Unhot, um, and if you're not aware, Unhot has been a viewer on the channel for a while. He uh, de has developed a, a number of mods that I like to uh, use in a lot of my series. Um, Ghost Placer Express and the Mouse Over de Deconstruct ones. Um, the most prominent ones that I that I like to use, uh, but but he said he has a, a new mod that uh, is uh, is a train related mod, and I'm I'm very excited to uh, to give it a shot. 
uh, especially with, with how these uh, last couple of series that I've had have been going. What do you mean Ghost is in the way? Are we out of big power poles? We're out of big power poles. Um, are we in a position... Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll roll we'll roll the rail, and uh, then we'll get the train set up. And as the train comes around, we'll use that to populate the big power poles. How does that sound? Sounds like a plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Let's do it. All right this this will be this will be this will be good. Yeah, look at this. Look at me go. Who needs robots? Oh yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Oh, trees. It, it was going well there for a while. Oh. It was going it was going really well for a while there. All right. Uh At least until we get around the tricky parts, uh, we'll we'll stay out of the car. Does that do it? I believe that done did it. Uh, boy, I wish I hadn't taken up my car because I want to take it to run down to the mall real quick and grab some more power poles. And uh, then we can get the train set up and running back and forth. And uh, we should be able to, if we can thread that needle, uh, we cannot. Ooh, I do like that, uh, that power pole remnant right there. It looks good. Oh, and we just got rid of all of our, uh, we just got rid of all our regular power poles. Okay, well, that, that should get everything back up and running again. Uh, not that we need anything running right now, because... Uh, Uh, because, uh, we can't make any science or anything. Um, what was I down here getting? Uh, big power poles. That's what it was. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab both stacks of those. Uh, we do have our train. All that should be good to go. And, uh, yeah, that should, that should be good. Oh, turrets. Who put those turrets there in the middle of the road? All right. Uh, let's see. It's going to be this guy right here. We're going to have a locomotive uh, facing down. Uh, we'll have two cars, two fluid cars right there. And then a locomotive facing this way. And we don't have any way to refuel these right now, so I'm just going to manually do that. Uh, should be fine for at least a while. I don't suppose we have any coal deposits over there in that area, no? No, of course not. Uh, why, why would we? Oh, you know what else I, I just re realized? Uh, we probably need to get some turrets set up over there, over there as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll set up this schedule. I want you to go to pickup, and then I want you to go to main, and here you are going to have an empty cargo, and here you're going to have a full cargo, and let's set it to our automatic and see if this guy works. And it appears like he's going that way, uh, which is a very good sign. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where we get some power ran uh, down the these lines. And uh, that'll get our crude oil flowing. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Have a good one.